probably the most famous landscape designer that we've ever had in Australia is a lady by the name of Edna Walling. She designed stunning gardens, mostly in Victoria, used lots of stone, and many of those gardens still survive. If you get a chance to see any of them, you really should look at them. Towards the end of her life, though, she moved up into Queensland, to the area around Butterham. Now, that's the area that was famous for ginger. I don't know if the ginger factory is still functioning up there. I can remember you could always buy, bring back bottles of it home. It's absolutely wonderful. But the man to tell you all about Edna Walling and her relationship with Butterham in Queensland is none other than Ross McKinnon, of course, the director of the Mount Cootha Botanic Gardens in Brisbane. One of the first people to realise Budrum's potential as a tropical hideaway was Edna Walling. Edna Walling was Australia's foremost female landscape architect for over four decades. But very few people realised that Edna Walling actually retired to Budrum on the Sunshine Coast in 1967, and many of the gardens around Budrum now very definitely bear the Edna Walling stamp. Dry stone walls are almost the signature of an Edna Walling garden, wherever it is in Australia. And the lovely curves of the walls certainly give it an organic feel. Dry stone walls are made without concrete, and the plants just cascade over, the lawns go right to the base. Indeed, Edna Walling's thoughts on gardening were then expanded by the present owners of this home into the most wonderful garden here in tropical Budrum. So typical of an Edna Walling garden are the pergolas. They're virtual frames which frame the garden rooms. Garden rooms were very important to her, and indeed this level block of land has been made very, very interesting. Just by the introduction of the two stone stairs, the crazy paving, which was always a signature of hers, and then the overstory pergola. The wonderful Petria, the blue and the white of the Beaumontia. Aren't they fantastic together? And don't they frame the view into the garden as well? The Edna Walling Memorial Gardens in Budrum are a fitting tribute to the First Lady of Australian Landscape Architecture. The pergola, the stone walls are all elements that she liked to use in gardens that she was designing all around Australia. Even though Edna Walling only lived in Budrum from 1967 until her death in 1973, her memory will live on in the choice of plants, both native and exotic, in these gardens. Mm -hmm. 